Okay, what's going on, everybody? My name is Mang. And uh, today, we're going to be playing a game called The Last Door. Um, so this is a point-and-click adventure game with a Lovecraftian horror theme. This came out, uh, oh boy, five years ago at this point. Uh, originally, well, it's for PC, uh, as well as mobile devices. So it's a phone game. Um, and that means the gameplay is pretty simple. But it's a point-and-click adventure game, so you don't expect that much anyways. Uh, the graphics are also pretty damn basic. Sort of... Uh, I don't know, like... Not... Uh, sort of 8-bit, I guess, but obviously not 8-bit. Very pixely, but that's, that's all fine. Um, the main point, of course, is that it is a... It's a Cthulhu game. Um, and it's supposedly it's pretty pretty interesting and pretty creepy uh it's got definitely a lot of good reviews and supposedly it's not that long which makes sense if you're playing on a phone you don't want a long game uh there are eight episodes released for the game split across two seasons and so the collector's edition includes uh, this is the first season collector's edition, so it's all for the first episodes, plus some extra stuff. Uh, the last episode was released, like, two and a half years ago, so I don't even know if this is a continued project at this point. I don't know if season two is the end of it. I, I, I don't know, because I don't want to look at any spoilers of the plot or anything. Um, so we're just going to play through both seasons it shouldn't take that long and uh it's point and click I, you know i'm the best at point and click adventure games so episode one the letter after all the things i have seen Jesus, those are some rough graphics. But I guess you can tell... You can tell what's going on, so that's good enough. Alright, we're in something. And uh, I have to turn the music down, so hold on. Uh, you can't turn it down from in-game? Okay, well, we didn't do much yet. Hold on. Let's drop this down a few notches. That was very loud. The only thing you need to hear is me. Okay. Tragic music. Yes, I <laughs> I like having subtitles on so we get fun stuff like that. Alright, so we picked up rope. It's the sound of rope. After all the things I've done, Walked through the chair. It's a good start. Guess we go check out the window. No. You want me to sit in the chair? No. Oh, hold up. Cannot escape the course my life has taken. Oh, okay, I see what's going on. Yep. Now I am beyond redemption. Alright. I just hope you can forgive me someday. Yours sincerely, Anthony Beechworth. That is a Call of Cthulhu character name right there. Oh, that's the sound of strangulation. Boom! The last door. 
So yes, this is a game by the Game Kitchen. As far as I can tell, this is the only thing they have ever made. So, I don't know what they've been doing for the last two and a half years. So it's a, it's a mix of Lovecraft and Poe, from what I've heard, so, which Lovecraft was, of course, a big fan of Poe himself, so, it, I, I, I guess I'm expecting it to be Lovecraft writing gothic horror, which, you know, he did on occasion, so. It's going to be like, I don't know, Haunter in the Dark or, or something. October 1891. Vidite ne ki skiat. That was all my childhood friend Anthony Beechworth had written in his letter. It had been many years since I had heard that sentence. It was the motto of the science and philosophy group that we had secretly run as students back when we were in that secluded boarding school in Scotland, but we had left it all behind, like mere childhood memories. That letter was unusual, it could only mean something awful must have happened. Something that must remain absolutely secret. I had to find out what was going on. Without delay, I took the first morning train to Sussex and made my way to the address on the letter. And there it was, the old house of Anthony's family, the Beechworth Manor. Look at it. Look at that manor. It's gigantic. It's brown. It's very brown. Big brown manor. Okay. Here we are. We're wearing a top hat. Nice. This is strange. Everything is silent as if there was no one living here. I'm worried about Anthony. I have to find him. Okay, top hat. Done. Note on the table. Dear Mr. Beechworth, due to the recent events, the situation has become unbearable for us, and much to our regret, we have no other choice but to leave. We will remain forever grateful for all these years in your service. God bless you, Mr. and Mrs. Brewer. My coat. Is this Anthony? The years have not been kind to him. Okay, no, I don't think I want to go out. I just wanted to close the door, but... A grandfather clock! It is the only sound around here. Intriguing music is playing. A machine that plays recorded music. I did not know that Anthony was such an enthusiast of new inventions cabinet with glasses and some liquor bottles. There's also a matchbox. Take that matchbox. These matches could come in useful. Yes, they could. Fireplace. Looks like it has not been cleaned in a long time. That large window is wide open, letting the cold dusk air in. Oh. Oh, a seascape. There's a small boat struggling against the roaring waves. A rainy mountain landscape. This portrait is crooked. Oh, an old rosary, a cord of beads with a solid wooden crucifix. Okay. This painting depicts a deep, dark forest. Small plant brings some life to this place. Okay, we got three doors here. Three doors. Let's start with this one. Variety of herbs and ingredients. Kitchen stove and a cleaning cloth. Take that cloth. Might come in handy. Of course, you never know. Plates and pans. Plate with some days old leftovers. Take those leftovers. I've unlatched the door. Oh. 
Oh, what is that? Oh, they're crows. They must be eating something that's blood spurting out. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Those crows are too vicious. Getting close could be dangerous. Garbage bin. Judging by the fall odor, I would say it has not been emptied in a fortnight. A fortnight? A murder of crows is eating eagerly. There are so many birds that I cannot see their prey from here. What if their prey is human? Wash basin and some toiletries. Lamp to light the way. That's useful. Nothing of interest in these drawers. March 5th, 1891. Master Anthony has made us get rid of our religious objects. What is going on with him? Luckily, I have found a place to hide my rosary. I cannot pray every night without it. May 18th, 1891. Master Anthony has been complaining about Alfie. What would a simple cat do to him? He ordered us to keep him out of the house at all times. Still, I cannot let that poor thing starve. He is such a clever cat. Every time I open the window, he knows food is waiting for him. Anyway, I'm worried about Master Anthony. He is growing more and more unlike himself every day. September 15th, 1891. Master Anthony is spending whole days locked inside his office. He wants us to leave him food at the door, but he barely eats anything. I'm really worried. An empty bowl like the ones used to feed pets. The window is so dirty that I can barely see through to the outside. So if we put food in the bowl, the cat will come. Oh, it looks like the window frame is rotten. I would need some kind of cord to hold the window open. Okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Hold up, hold on, hold on. Oh, you thought I'd miss that. There is a discoloration on the wall in the shape of a cross, as if one had hung there for many years and been recently removed. Uh-oh. We're moving crosses. Closed door. This door is locked. I should try and find the key to open it. Okay. Moving on. So far, nothing scary. Oh, I lit the lamp. I did it. I did it. Let's head upstairs. Yes, now we have a lamp. Oh, it's so spooky. This door is stuck. It won't open. Oh, here we go. Some square areas on the wall are visibly cleaner. Looks like some of the paintings are missing. Why would he remove some of the paintings? This doorway has been boarded up. They're firmly nailed down. I cannot remove them with my bare hands. Well, that's not good. Silver key. Nice. Double bed. From the accumulated dust, I would guess it has not been slept in for a very long time. Until now. A gentleman with a serious and inquisitive look. Fireplaces, black with suit. Well, what if I clean the fireplace? No, okay. Just checking. This window leads to a balcony shared with the adjacent room. Window is locked. Cannot open the latch, it is stuck. Perhaps I could do so using a small tool. Like a key? No. No, it's too, it's too thick. Small photographs and old daguerreotypes, mostly family folk portraits. What the rosary? Uh, okay. Well, that's that. We have a key nonetheless. from the inside. Okay, I think we'll trek back across and... Was this 
this one locked from the outside? Oh, that one's stuck. Can't do anything about that. gonna be the scary stuff oh my god I think this is a slate disc record sleeve reads the carnival of Venice okay well there's a machine that plays music oh we don't want to leave yet oh we're gonna see something slightly rusted iron crowbar well that's useful Small pile of firewood, twigs, and chunks of dry bark. You're not gonna take it? Are you mad? The boiler looks like it has been out of use for a long time. Okay. Well, we've got a record and we got a crowbar. That's all you need to beat the game, I think. Let's pop open to that uh, record player. Pop it in. Awful music. Must be broken. I don't know how, know how to make it stop. Crowbar. No, that would destroy the gramophone. It must be very expensive. Use the rosary. Pray to stop it. Okay, I think it's just plain. Music has abruptly stopped. Get back in there. Oh my god! Horror sound. Yeah, that's what that is. Okay, well, there's a room full of crows looking at me. That's pretty creepy. Let's move on. Okay, let's crowbar this door open. What? I thought the door was stuck. That's what crowbars do. Damn you. Like, he doesn't even comment on, like, <laughs> the room full of crows. Okay, got that down. My God, what has happened here? It is a letter. Dear Margaret, it has been days since Anthony left his office. I can hear him whisper angrily, frightfully, and it gets worse at night. Our service left a few days ago. Without their help and company, I am lost. I can barely walk out of bed, and not even the doctor will come here after his argument with Anthony. My husband has developed a horrible ability to break anyone's will. I do not know what to do. I do not have any strength left. I wish I could send you this letter. Your dear friend, Anna Beechworth. The lifeless body of a woman has been here for a few days. Looks like she is clutching a note in her hand. I'm writing what will surely be my final thoughts, my last lines, my last breath. I do not know what kind of dark power has turned my husband into what he is now, a stranger with a look bereft of all sanity, compassion, and human warmth. I do not know what shadow has slowly darkened our lives. I do not know this foreign guest that now dwells in our souls. I do not know where it is from, but I am sure it is not from this world. I will meet my brothers and sisters soon. I will be free from this abyss of madness and fear. Soon I will stop trembling. Oh, uh, a simple long hairpin. Hey, we can get the window open with that. Okay. The writing on the walls reads, leave me alone. Who would have written such a thing? An old wheelchair. A letter in a feeble handwriting. I cannot go on, all is lost. 
diary page. I cannot stand their stares. They watch me. They judge me. They despise me. I know they think I am not worthy of this family. But who are they but dust and bones? A memory. Leave me. I do not need you. Leave me alone. Nothing of interest on this dressing table. I'll be the judge of that. Hmm. Okay. Window tapping. Woman of strong features and dark hair. She has a bold look in her eyes. She looks like the woman on the bed. She's holding a baby. Could that be Anthony's child? This old man bears some resemblance to Anthony, but his countenance is marred by a severe, unsettling gaze. This young woman, not yet in her 20s, stares defiantly back at me. A man with blonde hair. I feel as if I've seen him before. A portrait of Anthony standing beside a mounted wildcat or lynx. The paint looks fresher around the animal's head. There's a big raven perched outside the window, tapping on the glass with its beak. Young Anthony, just like I remember him. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go get that window open. Ominous music. Here we go. You know you're in a good place. Using the hairpin, I managed to spring the latch with ease. Aha. A lynx mounted and stuffed. This is a fine work of taxidermy. I'm glad he can appreciate it. A few handwritten notes. That goddamn cat. He meows every night and it is for me. I know it. He is mocking me. He knows my secret. He knows! I will not let him ruin everything. I do not have any choice. I have to put an end to his miserable life. Or better yet, I will blind him. You Gabby, Gabby Lynx. You would not confess. No, not you. Remains of chemical experiments. Some sort of spilled chemical product. It smells strongly of vinegar. Can of paint, then. torn out diary pages. They will not bother me anymore. I'm done with their censorious sense... What? Censorious? Censorious gazes? Their whispers? Is already there is only one thing left to do. Common hammer in good condition. Some strange books written in a language unknown to me. A map of the region of Sussex, with markings drawn on its surface. On top of the ladder, there's a trapdoor with a keyhole, reinforced with gold. GOLD! Okay, well, I'm not going to be able to... Gold and forest trapdoor is locked. I need to find the key. Yes. Well, that is easier said than done, isn't it? Well, uh, I have some paint thinner. Maybe I should use that on the paintings. Cannot pour the thinner directly onto the canvas, it would remove every layer of paint, the fresh image, as well as whatever originally lay beneath. Well, let's put this cloth. Dampen the cloth with paint thinner. Boom. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. The thinner has worked. The fresh paint is gone, and now I can see the original painting. The lynx's mouth is open, as if it were growling. Achievement unlocked. Art restoration. Uh, okay, is that a clue that I should reach into the 
Lynx's mouth? Could be. Could be. Who are you to judge? Come here, Lynx. This Lynx looks like the one in Anthony's portrait. Its mouth is shut like it was before I revealed the original painting. Well, clawed open. I would hate to damage this fine work of taxidermy. Are you kidding me? Put the lamp underneath its mouth. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, we apparently need something else. What is the hammer good for? Well, it's good for plenty of things, I guess, but in this twisted world, what is it good for? life left in it then we will put it out of its put it out of its oh I took the dying crow oh I can put that in the bowl for the cat but I have to find a way to prop the window up it's I needed a cord I assume the rosary is not gonna cut it but Oh, it did. There you go. Beast, you fool. I will leave. Then you will feast. Fuck. Do you want me to cook your food for you? That's really kind of... I've laid the crow in the bowl. Now you must... Cook it. Now you must smash it. Okay, I can only assume eventually... The cat will come in, although what the... F what am I gonna do with a cat? I don't wanna listen to a dying crow over and over. That's horrible. Hear something in the distance that sounds like a lament. Where did the crow go? It's a tiny dark hole in the wall. Oh, he took it into the next room? It's meowing. Sound is louder down here. Uh oh. Close. Cat seems to be behind this wall. Smash it. Yes. I've saved the cat. A black cat is staring at me. But wait, its eyes are missing. Good lord, it almost ripped my eyes out. It has run away into the dark. There's an open chest with a dark cloak, a mask, and a knife. The nice knife could be useful. Okay, you don't want the other stuff? Okay, we have a knife. That should be able to get open the lynx's mouth. I would hope. Alright, come on. Hightail high ta it out of here, man. Run! Oh, the crows are all gone. something uh, a little creepy about the game. Got the sound effects and it's all very stark. Run. 
grip. I managed to get the lynx's mouth open. There's a golden key inside. Perfect. Golden force trapdoor is locked. I need to find the key. Oh, but I have. It seems... Okay. Now do it. And there he is. Oh, God, no! Anthony, no! Lifeless body of my dear friend. What madness could have led him to commit such an act? There's something in his pocket. It is a sealed letter. Dear J. Devitt, if you are reading these lines, then I am nothing but a dead body hanging before you. I write to you in my last shreds of lucidity. You are one of my oldest friends, and when I sent you the letter asking you to come here, I did not doubt for one moment that you would. Had you failed me this evening, everything would have been lost. I found myself involved in a series of horrible incidents. For reasons beyond my comprehension and sanity, I become a total stranger to myself and to my closest relatives, capable of the most indescribable and atrocious acts. I cannot give you any more details at this time. I must ask you to immediately go back to the boarding school where we made that pact, where we all swore on our honor that sentence that would protect us. This letter must not reach anyone else, so it is imperative that you destroy it immediately. The lives of the rest of the group and yours too are in great danger. Do not delay. They are already waiting for you. Seeing is believing, Devitt. Do not forget that. Always your loyal friend, Anthony Beechworth. Oh my god! Oh my god! And I'm just watching it. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh! The adventure continues in episode two. It's fun to be a Kickstarter. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yeah. Special thanks. Uh huh. Spellforger. Yeah, free sounds. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, alright. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna do eight videos. As far as that's how I'm gonna split it up. Um. Because that's like... Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I probably should do another episode right away, but for now, we'll leave it off. First episode, one video. Uh, let me know what you think of the game. I think it's pretty interesting. I, I'm curious to see where they go. I, I like the format. I'm glad that it's not like ridiculously obtuse and confusing. You know, I solved everything on my own. It didn't take too long. So, pretty interesting stuff. My name is Mang. Game you're watching has been The Last Door. And I'll see you fine folks in the next part.